show you something, then I got mad. Um, because I have family members that, you know, don't really care about rules. So anyway, I made some coffee. Well, no, wrong. Elia made some coffee. And everybody had a cup. So I had this big old purple cup and I had put some cocoa powder in there and some espresso in there. And I was gonna show y'all I was gonna make my own Starbucks Frappuccino Dutch Rolls. What is Dutch Rolls drink called? You don't know? You can talk, they know you're here. I don't think Dutch Rolls I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm gonna hit him anyway. So, um, and then I'm gonna put this white chocolate raspberry. I already put it in there. So now I just pour it over ice. You were just going to really get to see the whole shebang. But like I said, I hate when people steal your stuff and then everybody's like, oh, I don't know who did it. When, you know, if you took it, just say you took it. Y'all have that at your house or is it just my house that has um, criminal behaviors? Like, I just want to know. That's just, tell me what you think. Anyway, so I'm using my Jamba Juice cup. But yeah, but my thing is, it's silly. I just say, yeah, I drink some or whatever, but, you know, can't do that. So then it frustrates me because it's like you're stealing instead of just saying, oh, who's this, this? Can I have some? Can't do that. So, you know. Because y'all don't know, before, back in the day, I had to lock up everything. So apparently I got to do that again. So that's what we back into the life of the locker. So then you put this on and act like you have... A nice Starbucks drink. And Eli doesn't drink coffee. Because he said that one day when he drank coffee. What did you say? It's just, I, I can't drink coffee. Did it make you too hyper? Did you do like the Royal TT? Did you that one day? So he <laughs> acts really like, crazy. It's like being high. It's like being high. Or on speed or something. Mm -hmm. And you have it, and you want to cross it just nice and cold. Shake, 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 around and around. Next time, I won't be frustrated. Y'all don't know I'm really frustrated. Um, I will show you step by step on how to make this, but I wanted to show y'all this. Yeah, and it's simple. See, we've been going out there spending five to six dollars on coffee, and all you need is to make sure you guys go and buy you some espresso powder. Get your coffee. You can use Nesquik. You can use uh, Ghirardelli cocoa powder. You can use hot chocolate, like Swiss Miss. You can use um, any chocolate you want. You can do yours and then add some sugar to it. Um, you don't even have to use creamer. I use this. This is my favorite creamer. And even though I'm on God this is the only creamer I like. So, I mean, I mean, I'm not supposed to have this one about that. But anyway. And it's only seasonal, so, you know, <laughs> you got to do what you got to do. But I just wanted to have a nice, like, coffee drink that's not overly sweet, but has enough coffee, but not too much coffee. So I used, I'm going to say I used about four scoops of cocoa powder. Because, again, it was in this big old cup all the way up to here. No, it was, like, right here. And now I got it from right here. Just me. And, um... I use four scoops of the cocoa powder, then I use probably two big spoons, not big, but you know, the same spoons of the cocoa powder that I use for the espresso. I stir it and I let it sit there until it cooled down because I did it when it was hot. And then you pour it over the ice because if you pour it over the ice when it's hot, then you're going to miss a lot of your ice and you need the ice to make it ice cold because you want to have ice cold. Now you can either, you can do this and blend it. If you do this and blend it, you probably want to add a little extra more chocolate so it doesn't work at water out. And put a little, this is my trick. Don't tell everybody. This is my trick. Add a little whipping cream. So it gives it more like you put ice cream in it and you didn't. Because whipping cream, when you blend it, it'll whip up and then you have your ice and it's so good. And then it tastes really, really good. This is my drink. Um... I really want to just show you guys step by step, but uh, it's all right. Me and Lola look. Lola just closed her eyes because she's just like, you're going through it again. You thought you got rid of the problem, and you still got the problem. Ta-da. It is what it is. But, hey, 
It's my man Lola Close. Elia, he be aware. Well, you know what he did. I'm about to give Elia his props. Props to you, Elia. He made a good preface, and it didn't take five hours. So let's give Elia a round of applause. Because he cooks really good. You just got to wait 18 hours for the food. This time it was pretty quick. You think you did fast this time? Oh, yes. It could have been a little bit faster, though. Really? Yeah, because I didn't cook in the right order. But I also didn't know when I was going to be done. And I was trying to, you know, line up to that time. Do you know the best secret to do is right when you put in the potatoes to fry them? Is to, like, after like a minute of them frying or two minutes, start your sausage, start your waffles, and then at the end, while everything is like getting too low, you're turning it down, making sure it's at the low it needs to be. Then you put your eggs and all your food is nice and hot. Because you know I'm all about making the food quick and easy. Nothing that takes forever. Even if I have to fry. Oh my God, you guys don't understand why. And I want to use my fry daddy, but I'm going to have to have Eli fry my fry daddy. Because I can fry one batch of chicken in such a quick time and it can feed the whole family. So, because I have this big old electric fry daddy. It's this big. So, it's really cool. So, anyway, have a wonderful day. Remember to love and live each day as if it were your last. Okay. The love and live so. The love and live so. The love and live so. The love and live so.